What's going on everybody, Kalupas Tech here, coming back at you with another video. In this video, we're going to be doing a quick comparison between the Boost Mobile Celero 5G Plus and the Motorola Moto G Power 5G. Now as always, if you do end up wanting to learn more about either phone individually, be sure to check out the description where I am linking to several other videos about them, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But with that being said, Let's get into it. So with the Boost Mobile Celero 5G Plus, we're getting a really large 6.95 inch IPS LCD display with a 120 hertz refresh rate, a 1080p resolution, a PPI of 386, and a 20 and a half by nine aspect ratio. With the Moto G Power 5G, we're getting a six and a half inch 120 hertz IPS LCD display with a 1080p resolution, a PPI of 405, and a 20 by nine aspect ratio. So when it comes to image quality, these phones are pretty much the same here. Both have really nice sharp 1080p resolutions. The displays are decently bright, although I will say the Moto G Power 5G is a little bit brighter, but the difference is really not that much. And with 120 hertz refresh rates, the movement on the screen with these phones is gonna be a bit faster and smoother, making them feel a bit more premium. So in general, if you're looking for a really affordable phone that has great image quality, maybe you're watching lots of videos for example, and you want things to look a bit nicer, either phone will be a great choice. But the real obvious difference here is that clearly, the Boost Mobile Celero 5G Plus is quite a bit larger, at again 6.95 inches, versus 6.5 with the Moto G Power. Now in general, I would normally say having a larger display is typically an advantage, but in the case of the Boost Mobile Celero 5G Plus, this display is honestly just so massive that even though for a lot of people this is going to be a good thing, for others, maybe not so much. So if you are looking for a really large display, then of course, the Boost Mobile Celero 5G Plus will be a great choice. But if you're looking for a display that's maybe not small but more of a normal size, then you might want to go with the Moto G Power 5G instead. Now for storage, with the Boost Mobile Celero 5G Plus, we're getting 128GB of internal storage with microSD card expansion, and with the Moto G Power 5G, we're getting 256GB with microSD card expansion as well. So between the two here, clearly the Moto G Power 5G having double the storage has a pretty big advantage, but I feel like in general for the average user, 128GB is honestly plenty of storage already, so for most people the Boost Mobile Celero 5G Plus is going to be perfectly fine. But if you are someone who's maybe downloading lots of apps and games and stuff like that, or if storage storage is just more of a priority for you in general, then in that case, you might want to go with the Moto G Power 5G. For security features, both phones have fingerprint scanners right here on the power keys. Definitely a great spot for a fingerprint scanner. But keep in mind, the Boost Mobile Celero 5G Plus does not have face unlock, but the Moto G Power 5G does. Now. In general, I feel like since these phones already have fingerprint scanners, most likely not that many people are going to be too shaken up about the Boost Mobile Celero 5G Plus not having face unlock. But if you do like that feature, then again, keep in mind, the Moto G Power 5G does have it. But starting with the Celero 5G Plus, let's give the fingerprint scanners a try. There we go. One more time. And there we go. And now for the Moto G Power 5G. There we go, one more time. And there we go. So as you can see there, both fingerprint scanners were real fast and responsive, no issues at all. And again, remember, with the Moto G Power 5G, this phone does have face unlock, so with this phone, if you wanna use that instead, you always can. Now taking a look at the camera setups here, with the Boost Mobile Celero 5G Plus, up front, we got a 16 megapixel selfie camera, then on the back, we got a triple camera setup with a 50 megapixel main camera, a five megapixel ultra wide camera, and a two megapixel depth sensing camera. With the Moto G Power 5G, up front, we got a 16 megapixel selfie camera. Then on the back, we got a triple camera set up here as well with a 50 megapixel main camera, a two megapixel depth sensing camera, and a two megapixel macro camera. So as far as overall features go, these phones are pretty decent, but on one hand with the Boost Mobile Celero 5G Plus, Again, we are getting an ultra-wide camera here, whereas with the Moto G Power 5G, despite not having an ultra-wide camera, this phone does have a macro camera. So it really just kind of depends on which features you actually want. If you want to get wider angle photos, the Celero, of course, will have an advantage. But if you want to get more close-up detailed images, the Motorola might be better. Now, to give you an idea of what they can do, first, here's some pictures taken with the Celero 5G+. Plus. In general, I feel like for what it is, the pictures are at least decent. And if you're not really that concerned about taking the nicest pictures you can, and you really just need to get a couple decent photos every now and then. In general, it will get the job done, but if you are more concerned about photo quality, then I feel like even for what it is, you can do a bit better. And then here are some pictures taken with the Moto G Power 5G. Overall, I feel like between the two, the Motorola definitely has the advantage when it comes to photo quality. So if you maybe don't really care about having an ultra wide camera, but you are taking lots of regular pictures for something like maybe Instagram, for example, where you want things to look a bit nicer, then in that case, I do think between the two, the Moto G Power 5G will have an advantage. 
Now for the RAM and processor, with the Boost Mobile Celero 5G Plus, we're getting 6GB of RAM with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 695 5G processor. With the Moto G Power 5G, this phone is also getting 6GB of RAM with the MediaTek Dimensity 930. So in general, both phones here do have good processors, and when it comes to more basic activities like web browsing, social media, streaming content like videos and music, and maybe some light mobile gaming, either phone here will be perfectly fine. But between the two, by a pretty slight margin, I would say the Moto G Power 5G is a bit faster. Things in general do run a bit smoother on this phone and if you're going to be on your device a bit more, you will have a slightly better experience. But keep in mind the difference is really not huge and again in general the Boost Mobile Celero 5G Plus is definitely a decently fast device for what it is. So if you get this phone and you're really doing more basic activities, then again, you still will get a pretty good experience here. Now I did run a benchmark test on each phone using Geekbench 6, and here are the results I got. So again, as you can see here, the Moto G Power 5G does have a bit of an advantage, but it's really not that much, so in general, in my experience at least, you will see a slight difference, but overall it's not like if you get the Boost Mobile Celero 5G Plus it's going to be super slow or anything. So overall, if you're looking for a more affordable 5G phone for more basic activities and more moderate use, then either phone here will be a pretty good choice. Now for the batteries. Both phones here have 5000 mAh batteries, and they both also support 15 watt fast charging. So definitely great batteries here. When it comes to charging speed, it's at least decent. Definitely not the fastest, so if you're really concerned about fast charging, you might be disappointed here, but in my experience, the charging speed with either phone is pretty much average. But speaking of charging, one thing I do want to point out here is that with the Boost Mobile Celero 5G+, Plus, this phone actually does have wireless charging, which for a non-flagship phone is definitely not something you see every day. And while I personally don't think wireless charging is like a reason to get one phone over another, at least not in and of itself, it is definitely a nice feature to have. So if you do care about wireless charging, definitely keep this in mind. But for the batteries as far as everything else goes, with 5000 mAh batteries, in case you don't know, these are really large batteries. So if you do care about battery life, if that is more of an important thing for you, then either phone here will be a great choice. Now for the software, with the Celero 5G Plus, unfortunately this phone only has Android 12 and considering it is more of a low-end carrier branded device, I'm not really expecting any major updates, so if you do get this phone, you are going to have to be okay with having Android 12 pretty much for the whole time you have it. Now I could be wrong, it might end up getting an update at some point in the future, but in my experience when it comes to phones like this, I really don't count on it. So again, just be aware, if you do get this phone, you're probably not going to get Android 13. On the other hand, with the Moto G Power 5G, this phone does have Android 13, and while Motorola doesn't have the best software support, at least not compared to something like Samsung or Google or Apple, it is at least decent, and I will say it has been improving over the past couple years. So with this phone, I am expecting it to get at least Android 14 at some point in the future after it comes out. I don't know how quickly it's going to happen, but seeing as the Motorola Motorola Moto G Stylus 2022 started out with Android 11, and it recently got Android 12, I would expect a newer phone that's technically a bit higher end to get at least one major update, so in general if you are a bit more concerned about the software but you're still not like super adamant about having the latest version of Android as soon as it drops, the Moto G Power 5G will be a pretty good choice. But if you don't really care at all about the software, then of course the Celero 5G Plus will still be okay, I mean Android 12 is definitely not preferable but it's not really that outdated yet, and things do run decently well on this phone so it's not like Android 12 is really that much of a hindrance. Now as far as other features go, I already talked a bit about how the Boost Mobile Celero 5G Plus does have wireless charging, so again definitely a real cool feature. But in addition to this, this phone also has NFC which is definitely nice. In case you don't know, NFC is the technology behind contactless mobile payment services, so if you like to use tap and pay, to use that feature, you will need a phone that has NFC. So again, the Boost Mobile Celero 5G Plus does have NFC, so if you do like to use tap and pay, you can use it with this phone. But unfortunately with the Moto G Power 5G, despite technically being a higher end device, at least compared to the Celero 5G Plus, the Moto G Power 5G doesn't have NFC which at this point in 2023, with tap and pay becoming so much more popular and widely used, is honestly a pretty big drawback. I mean, sure not everyone uses it, but in the US at least, there are really not many stores left that don't have some sort of tap and pay, and missing out on that feature is really disappointing. So again, if you do want to use tap and pay, the Boost Mobile Celero 5G Plus will have a huge advantage, because again, the Moto G Power 5G does not have NFC. But in conclusion, which of these phones is better? Now overall, I would say this is actually pretty close, because each phone does have a couple different advantages. On one hand, if you're a bit more concerned about features, I would say overall, the Boost Mobile Celero 5G Plus will be a better choice, because this phone not only has NFC and wireless charging, but it also has an ultra-wide camera, whereas again, the Moto G Power 5G, despite at least having a macro camera, doesn't have an ultra-wide camera, but honestly I feel like, in general, for most people, an ultra-wide camera is a bit more useful. So in general, when it comes to those individual features, I do think the Celero 5G Plus is a bit more 
impressive overall. In addition to this, it does have a much larger display, so if you're consuming a lot of content like watching videos for example, I do think for the most part despite maybe being a bit more inconvenient to put in your pocket and stuff, when you're consuming a lot of content, overall having a larger display does typically give you a better experience. On the other hand, with the Moto G Power 5G, again this phone has double the storage, so if you're someone who's constantly downloading apps and games and stuff like that, this is a nice benefit for you. In addition to this, the Moto G Power 5G does have significantly better photo quality, so if you're maybe not concerned about having an ultra wide camera, but you are taking lots of pictures in general, then I do think you will be better off with the Moto G Power 5G. In addition to this, this phone does have better software, better software support, and slightly better performance. But at the end of the day, if you're looking for an entry level 5G phone for more basic activities, I do think each phone here does provide quite a bit of value for the money, and you're really not going to go wrong with either one. But this concludes my comparison between the Boost Mobile Celero 5G Plus and the Motorola Moto G Power 5G. Again, if you want to learn more about either phone individually, definitely check out the description, where I am linking to several other videos about them, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to follow Kalipas Tech on Twitter and Instagram. And as always, I will see you in the next video.